boy. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatics. As always, we are doing our monthly silkworm feeding video. And if you don't already know what that's all about, it's where I showcase the value of adding silkworms to your feeding routine because these insects are incredibly nutritious for your pets. They contain so much protein, lots of calcium, phosphorus, vitamin B groups, and more. These insects are full of omega-3 fatty acids, which can prevent all sorts of heart issues, inflammation disease, so it's really beneficial to add them to your pet's regular feeding routine. So, with that being said, before we start feeding our pets, I'd like to take a moment to sincerely thank Raid for sponsoring today's video. Raid Shadow Legends is this massive universe full of amazingly powerful champions that all have their own lore. There's a whole bunch of cool classes, and naturally my favorite are the Lizardmen, which are super cool reptilian, powerful creatures and characters. I just need to cast this spell and... If you know me, I love playing phone games, and some of my top reasons for playing Raid are that I love how you can just level up your characters. They might start off super weak, but the system allows you to play again and again until your characters level up and become super strong. There's no shortage of unique characters you have to fight. Look at these giant bosses. Each one will present their own challenge if you wish to defeat them. And lastly, you can join or create your own clan and play with your friends. And this month, Raid's got a non-stop schedule of special events and activities, including the Forge Pass Season 3, with some amazing rewards and offers. And if that's not enough, Raid's bringing out some new champions, along with the awesome-looking champion skins for the incredible-looking Madame series. But wait, here's the big news. Later this month, Raid is giving everybody's favorite champion the upgrade he deserves. You might have seen his struggle for awesomeness in some of Raid's hilarious videos, but finally, Death Knight is becoming a legendary champion. And now there's never been a better time to get started. If you're a new player, check out the link down below or use my QR code to get a free starter pack worth almost $30. You'll receive Aina and this cool in-game loot. You'll find your rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. Boom! If you're new here, I make videos about specialty pets such as reptiles, amphibians, and different kinds of cool invertebrates. So if that's something you're interested in learning about, definitely consider subscribing down below and dinging that little notification bell afterwards so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I do my best to post two videos a week. Hello. How's it going? Come on. Climb up. Let's go. Oh my gosh, what was that? What was that? Sappy! Get back here. Goodness gracious, can we try that again, please? Because. Okay. There is a crime scene on my hand. And it's very. Ooh, that's kind of cool, to be honest. Those are all the little individual num 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 noms from the silkworm, but. I'm gonna go wash my hands and we'll be right back. Hello, Mr. Teats. How's it going, buddy? Oh my gosh, look at him. He is, he is ready for action. Here. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> okay, let's see if Torch is here. Torch. Oh! <laughs> okay. Well, she got it. Kind of sucks we didn't see anything happen. Hey, Mr. Teeks, want another one? Mr. Teeks. Get over here, man. I don't know how he's gonna do the turn, but... <sighs> there we go. You're on the wrong side of the glass. Oh! Dropped it. Mr. Teeks, there you go. Mm, mm, mm. Look at this handsome Toki Gecko. He looks fantastic. Hey, where are you going, dude? Those those are my fingers, alright? Let's not uh let's not get ourselves too carried away here. Alright, we can go back home now. Go on now. Off you go. Good 
boy. Mr. Basil, how's it going, dude? How you doing, buddy? Look at this handsome lizard. Okay, I don't like the way you're watching my fingers there. Let's uh, let's let's replace that with a silkworm, shall we? So we're gonna do a bit of enrichment for this guy in the form of the bird nest. The good old bird nest. Stick it in like that, put a silkworm in there, and then he can find it. Okay, so we have a silkworm, plop it in, and then we let this smarty pants do the rest of the work. Look at those scales, this guy is absolutely gorgeous. All right, he's, he's checking things out. He's tasting the air with his tongue. He's going up to the bird's nest. Finding anything, Mr. Bazia? Oh. Here we go. Gonna find it. Oh yeah, he got it. Nice. Oh, buddy, he's way less messy than Sapsy, that's for sure. How was that? Mm -mm -mm. You like that? Awesome. No, Basil, this isn't for you. We're just moving ET into some better light for the video. You want a silkworm, buddy? Oh, yeah. Here he comes. This guy just loves his silkworms. Oh, that is a happy turtle. He always has to go somewhere with it, eh? Goodness me. Ugh. Oh boy, ET. My, oh my, oh my. Is that good, little man? That is disgusting. Literally, that silkworms, uh, <laughs> Whole stomach contents are just sitting there on that piece of cord. Okay, everybody. Next, we got Sabzi. She is resting, but I know that yeah, she's right there. She'll come right out. Oh, here we go. Sabzi. Hi. Oh, here she is. Well, the ball is here. Her favorite toy. She's already gonna check it out, and I haven't even put a worm in it yet possible that this means she remembers that this has treats in it? I would be willing to bet yes. Nothing in it yet. Nothing in it, Sabzi. Not yet. Look at this girl. She is ready for action, looking for food in there. I know she doesn't get stuck, don't worry. She just pulls her head right out. Sabzi, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, she's hilarious. We'll lure her this way. Okay. Hey! I'm trying to give you a treat. Wait, I don't know why I didn't think to remove this from hanging so it'd be easier to add the worm without her intervening. But now it's in there, you can see it. Oh, look how pretty you look. Now she smells it. Oh boy, this worm's in trouble now. too soon but that's uh less messy than usual i guess the bigger she gets the less she has to tear and whatnot because she can just swallow that ah, i spoke too soon well she's got it now no 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 this girl's getting really big fast guys cannot wait for you to see their future enclosure oh man it's gonna be so awesome just you wait and see Yum. For today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you all, what is one reptile or amphibian related 
thing that you have to change about the way you keep your animals in the summer. Maybe it's the fact that you bring your turtles outside into an outdoor pen during those summer months so that your animals have the opportunity to enjoy some natural warmth and sunlight, catch those UVB rays and such. Or maybe you have a temperature controlled room because those summer temperatures are detrimental or dangerous to the animals that you're keeping. I'd like to know what kind of altered husbandry practices you implement in your keeping for your animals in the comment section down below. As always, I'll give your comment a heart and we can engage in a little bit of a conversation. Thanks so much. Hey Rambo, you enjoying your gecko diet? Mmm, is he swallowing his food right now? Pingu is back there. I'm gonna go ahead and offer her a silkworm. She loves the silkworms. Here she comes. Oh my goodness, girl. Holy. Wow. Okay. Dang, Pingu. Wow, wow, wow. She was not holding back there at all. Okay. Well, she seems to be happy to eat that. Okay guys, so we have one Toke twin left. I was able to find a great home for one of them. So this is the only girl we have left. They're both sisters. She's doing just fine living on her own. I wanna be clear. Uh, let's offer her a silkworm. Hey girl. Oh, she got it. Nice. Looking good girl, looking real good. All right guys, so it is a toke party up in here. As you can see, lots of juvenile toke geckos. We got little ones up there on the ceiling. Let's see if anyone here is interested in enjoying a silkworm. Nice. Off he goes with it. Definitely needs to be careful or someone's gonna try and steal it. Would you also like a silkworm? Oh. Wow, okay. Got some competition going on. Interesting, see how they're signaling to each other not to harm each other? Very cool. Look at this guy, he is very eager. Oof. Okay, everybody's here now. My gosh, look at all the toke geckos coming to eat. Need to do a proper update on this whole family. They are growing like crazy and there's more eggs coming. It's crazy in here. I need to start rehoming some of these toke geckos. Um, this can only go on so long before they take over the whole reptile room. All right, hold on. Well, everybody, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching today's silkworm feeding video. It's always a blast getting to show you guys how much my pets love eating silkworms as a tasty snack and showing you the health benefits associated with feeding these larvae to your reptiles and amphibians. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos pertaining to silkworm feedings, check out the playlist up above. And again, a special thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. Take care, everybody. Can't wait to see you all for the next video. Have an awesome rest of your week. Bye.